Well, it's been a long time coming. Uber is rolling into Birmingham. Hello, I'm Jim Dunaway. Sherry Jackson is on assignment. After months of debate, the Birmingham City Council approved the ride sharing service today. WIET 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is live in our newsroom with what this means for transportation here in the city. Jim, today's decision did not come easily. Counselors noted a number of concerns about business licenses for potential drivers. But despite that, the new TNC ordinance passed and marks a new era in transportation here in the Magic City. At last, Uber is finally coming to Birmingham. But it came after months of debates. So I thought it would take probably two weeks. In order for you to review. delays, politics, and dysfunction. Today, and we're talking about whatever recommendations that need to be made. We don't have a license for individual drivers. This is much to do about nothing because I think we've had ample time to review these documents. The vote on an amended TNC ordinance was passed under the impression that Uber would sit down with the city's law department and hash out important details to legally operate in the city. It's an amenity that's needed in our city, uh, but at the same time, when it comes to public safety, uh, to liabilities, things of that nature, you want to make sure the law is in order. And I think that's important as an elected official to make sure we do our due diligence. Bringing our city really into the 21st century is really an important thing. The Uber decision is also important for young people like Jay North, an 11th grader who skipped school just to hear the council's decision on Uber. This is going to prove that Birmingham is capable of advancing in, uh, te in technology in that area. I think that um, it shows that you know, like we're willing to work forward and prosper in the right direction. Now, when things get finalized, Uber will operate under a six-month review period to see where improvements are needed. Jim, when the city council passed its ordinance, President Jonathan Austin received an email from the ride-sharing service Lyft, requesting a copy of the amended ordinance to see if they could possibly operate here as well. In the newsroom, Stefan Dingle, WIET 42 News. Coverage you can count on.